It's main event time here on TBS. In one corner, Scotty Flamingo and JT Southern. In the other, the Z-Man and Marcus Alexander Bagwell. We saw what happened last week between Flamingo and Z-Man, and now we have a big tag team match based on what happened a week ago. It's good to have them all four signed up for a match because now we don't have to worry about the outside interference. You know what you get when you signed up for this one. Back to the corner now. Z-Man in trouble early on in this match. Using his quickness, being followed in. Two count. Z-Man now backs away momentarily, and Scotty Flamingo gets face-to-face -face with him. Z-Man, quite an intense competitor. He's been one half of the U.S. Tag Team Champions himself, and him and Bagwell are certainly a fiery young team and someone that's going to have to be contended with. I want to remind the fans to take a look at the Z-Man or talk to you, Meg, about what we have seen early on in the WCW Magazine with Eric Bischoff, the interruption of our press conference and Diamond Dallas Page, and apparently uh, Kale and Fry's going to talk to the executive committee, but DDP may get one minute on every TV show to air his views. But would you like my opinion on that? Yes, I would, as you look at me with those cold eyes of yours. Go ahead. Personally, I think K. Allen Fry has been suckered. Suckered in by one of the oldest con men that you've ever seen. Because I do not believe for one moment that Diamond Dallas Page is sincere in his plea and that he's sorry about anything he said. He only wants to manipulate, and I think K. Allen Fry is going to allow himself to be manipulated if he bows to any of Page's pleas. So why don't you... You know, you've always been friendly with Mr. Fry. Why don't you go tell him this? I think I just said it on nationwide television. I think he'll probably hear it and get the message. You need to get an appointment with him. And you may be right. I, I think Diamond Dallas Page is, just like you say, a real con artist, a real big man. I mean, he's only in it for himself, right? I don't believe that there's thousands of people across this country that care what Diamond Dallas Page has to say. So you think I, all those letters were just... Uh, I think they were bogus. Bogus letters. It's just my opinion, mind you. And that's what I wanted. Ross body block. But the leg of J.T. Southern almost found himself pinned. Z-Man looking sharp. Now Z-Man flying Bryant for the light heavyweight title. But you know, let's talk about other light heavyweights you got scotty flamingo and i do know for a fact that tonight in chicago johnny b bad wrestles flying brian with a light heavyweight title if johnny b bad wins tonight z-man would have to face johnny b bad in the pay-per-view of course z-man's been in training long and hard to get his weight down so that he could make the necessary category to qualify as a light heavyweight because z-man's been up as high as 245 250 pounds I know he's trained intensely because this is such a competitive division, and I know he wouldn't mind facing anyone who was wearing the belt. I know he's geared himself up for flying Brian Pillman, his friend and former tag partner, but I'm sure he wouldn't mind meeting Gunny B. Bad. Marcus Alexander Bagwell, the youngster who has really come a long way. A lot has been said and written about Bagwell, and really I think he has made many, many youthful mistakes in this sport, Magnum. First of all, signing matches against guys like Big Van Vader. I mean, there's and Rick no Rude. and Rick Rude. There's no question that he has courage and willingness. But this really in the career, a guy like Rude and a guy like Vader, they would just as soon end your career before it starts. Well, he's lucky he has youth on his side because he's got a chance to bounce back from some matches and some defeats that could have, like you said, ended his career. But he's got that youthful enthusiasm. I've got to hope that he's learned by some of the mistakes that he's made thus far, and he has admitted on more than one occasion that he's got himself in over his head and that he knows he's got a long way to go. But I have to say, I think Bagwell has a tremendous amount of potential, and I see bright things in his future if he can survive the mistakes he's making here in the early stages. Reverse chin lock applied by the rock and roller J.T. Southern as we take a close look at this youngster, very good looking youngster out of Sprayberry High School in Marietta, Georgia. As Mike Atkins, the referee, checks in. Z-Man and Bagwell.
Bagwell, one of the teams in the NWA World Tag Team Tournament, which will be held beginning here on TBS and the Clash of Champions on June 16th. And you talk about ability. I think these two guys are really sleepers in this tournament, Mac. Well, they have something that makes them very dangerous to any team they go in the ring with. They have desire, a burning desire to be recognized as being the best. Z-Man has been wrestling at a new inspired rate that we haven't seen from him in quite some time. And I don't know if the, the youthfulness of Bagwell has helped interject that in the team, but these two could certainly rise to the top and anything can happen in a tag team tournament where it's single elimination. That's what it's like, single elimination, just like the NCAA basketball tournament. You lose, you're gone. Scotty Flamingo getting double teamed here. Talking about the light heavyweight division, Scotty says sooner or later, and more than likely sooner, he says, it will be renamed the Scotty Flamingo division. And that's just talk, fluff, being another big mouth. There's a lot of them in wrestling, as you know, and a lot more to come, I'm sure. But Scotty... I really think he believes what he says. I don't think it's all fluff. I think he really believes that he is the greatest in the light heavyweight division. Well, for all the talk, I've seen him do some things in the ring, like that double underarm suplex there. He has got the viciousness. He goes on the attack when he turns it off. He's all over Bagwell right here. He's not giving him a chance. Going to the eyes, breaking the back, doing everything he can to intimidate and humiliate his opponent. This kind of intensity could take him to the top of the light heavyweight division. Show cold. And Mike Atkins giving Flamingo a warning. And this is not helping out Bagwell because D-Man has the attention of the referee. Waist locked into a suplex. One. And there the inexperience of Southern had to hook the leg with all the punishment Bagwell's taken. He could have got a one, two, three there. But that shows you that he, he is the most inexperienced man in this particular contest. And Bagwell's now got him over there, got a fresh man in the ring. And I look for Z-Man to turn it on here. Once again, fans, don't forget Jim Ross and his special guest host on WCW Saturday Night. Coming up, it's going to be Randy Owen of uh, the group Alabama, the country music group. That'll be coming up 6.05 Eastern this Saturday right here on TBS. Of course, Jim will join you for Power Hour, and we'll be back next Sunday for main event. So you look at the difference here in JT and the Flamingo man here. I mean, he has this intensity that he knows exactly what he's doing. He's so focused when he gets in the ring. I note the fact that JT seems a little disorientated sometimes. Maybe it's the punishment that he's taken, but he has certainly turned out to be the weak link in this team. Good elevation. Z-Man nailed him. Oh, did he ever. Flamingo goes down. The double coconuts. Nice Thank move. You. Oh, what a move. What a team. Bagwell and Z-Man, and out goes Z-Man. Bagwell's in with two men. Not where he wants to be here. Double teaming going on. Double vertical suplex, and Bagwell could be down and out. Z-Man, though. Up on top. Kick Bagwell on Southern. And that's all.